hope you all are doing well welcome back to bio school my last video it was on the exponential growth of population and you will find the link in my description box today we are going to discuss about logistic growth of population which solved previous year csr net question so here we go we know that exponential growth of population is possible when the resources are available abundant in the nature but the reality is not that when the number of individual becomes the large enough the resources will be depleted that leads to the slowing the growth rate okay so the ecologists have developed logistic growth model the maximum population size that a environment can support is known as the carrying capacity and it is represented by letter k if we plot the population growth over time then the logistic growth of population it will form a shaped growth curve okay whereas in the exponential growth the growth curve is in j shaped here in the graph as you can see the x axis it represent the generation time and the y axis it represents the population that is the number of individual at the initial stage the growth rate is slow that is the lag phase then the population size increases it leads to the exponential growth phase when the resources are the limited then the population they will compete with each other and with the other species that leads to the decrease in the growth of population then it will achieve its the equilibrium phase or the carrying capacity we know the carrying capacity is the total number of individuals that environment can support and this graph it looks like the letter s so the logistic growth of population it results in a shaped growth curve what is the mathematical formula for logistic growth of population is it is dn by dt equal to rn multiplied by k minus n divided by k where dn is the change in number dt is the change in time r is the per capita rate of population growth n is the number of individual k minus n is the population size and k is the carrying capacity of the environment this equation is called the logistic equation it was discovered by belgian mathematician p f varhals in 1838 so this one is also known as the varhals population growth curve so how can we calculate the maximum rate of population the maximum population or the biotic potential of the population will be calculated by dn by dt equal to r max n multiplied by k minus n divided by k okay in the exponential growth curve there is the no role of the carrying capacity where is in the logistic growth there is a role of the carrying capacity in the exponential growth curve the maximum growth rate of a species was calculated by formula dn by dt equal to r max multiplied by n but here it is multiplied by the carrying capacity k minus n divided by k r max is the maximum per capita rate of increase in the population when the number of individual is equal to the carrying capacity then the change of population is zero or the change of the population it decreases absolute growth of population is small at low and higher value of number of individual and when can we get the maximum growth of population it will be observed at the intermediate value of n okay so that absolute growth is greatest when the number of individual equal to is the half of carrying capacity n equal to k by 2 you have to remember and this one is the very important when the growth rate is maximum the growth rate of population is maximum at the half of the carrying capacity okay So the population size at time t, how can we calculate? The population size at time t calculated by formula n t equal to n zero e to the power r multiplied by k minus n divided by k t. It assumes that the per capita growth rate of population it declines linearly with the population size. The when the population size increases. the per capita growth rate it gradually decreases okay 
and this the logistic model has the two parameter that r max is the intrinsic rate of growth it expresses the maximum growth rate a population can achieve at low density okay the maximum growth rate when it will be achieved when the population density is low and the further the second parameter of logistic growth is the k k is the carrying capacity it expresses the stable population size okay k is the equilibrium phase or the carrying capacity that express the stable population size so now we will see the graphs of logistic population growth this one is the first graph where the x axis present the time and y axis it present the number of individuals okay and at the initial stage the growth growth is slow that is the lag phase then the growth is accelerated that is the exponential phase then the growth rate is gradually declined and it becomes the equilibrium at carrying capacity and this curve it look like the s we know that logistic growth curve of population it is a sigmoid curve or a shaped curve and i told you that the maximum growth or the absolute growth of population is achieved at the intermediate value of n okay that is the k by 2 here you see this one is the k and the maximum number of individual it is achieved when it is achieved here that is the this point it is the k by 2 when the maximum value of population is achieved at the intermediate value of n that is at the point k by k divided by 2 then this graph the dn by dt is presented on y axis and the number of individual on x axis and this logistic growth curve it presents that when the number of individuals are low or when the number of individuals are high then the population growth rate decreases okay the population growth rate decreases at the lower or higher value of number of individual and the maximum growth of population is achieved at k divided by 2 point okay and this graph it forms a bell shaped curve and the third graph in this graph this represent that the r max okay that is the per capita population growth rate it declines gradually or it declines linearly with population size n okay here the per capita growth rate or the r it declines linearly with the population size so you have to also remember the three logistic growth curves now the previous year csir net questions okay the first question the following graph for a logistically growing population with nt plotted on x axis what is the parameter plotted on the y axis okay and you know the answer what will be the answer in the y axis it will be dn by dt okay and it results in the formation of bell shaped curve the correct answer is option a so the next question the three graphs a b c so population growth that is n in relation to n or time t okay these three graphs represent the population growth curve which of the following is correct with reference to the y axis level and the type of population growth curve so you have to find what will be the parameter on y axis and which type of population growth curve it is okay so let's see the option a y axis is n okay if we will take in y axis n and x axis it is the t then it leads to the formation of j shaped curve so this one is the exponential growth curve the option a is the correct answer and the option b which type of growth curve it is it is the logistic growth curve okay we have discussed about it so what will be the parameter in the y axis the y axis the parameter will be dn by dt so see the option b y axis dn by dt 
and is the logistic growth. So option B is also correct answer. And option C. In this diagram, you see the population is increasing in the linear way. Okay, the population size is increasing. So obviously, it is the exponential growth curve. And what will be the y-axis parameter is the ln n. Okay, so here the correct option is option A. Okay, the next question: What parameter plotted on y-axis against generation time? would yield the curve shown in the figure okay so here is the question is asking about what parameters should be in the y axis so it will be form graph like this okay we know that intrinsic rate of increase intrinsic rate of increase that is the r is gradually declines with increasing number of individuals okay so the option D is the correct answer. If you will plot the intrinsic rate of increase on y axis, then it will form the graph like this because the intrinsic rate of increase it or the value of the R it gradually declines as the population size increases. Okay. Then the next question. A plot of dn by dt as a function of population density is a dn by dt if it will be on y axis and n it will be on the x axis then what type of curve it will form it forms the bell shaped curve so the answer is option d okay and this one given below are the growth equation where dn by dt is defined as okay so what are the formula for the dn by dt we know that formula the dn by dt equal to rn in exponential growth and dn by dt equal to rn multiplied by k minus n divided by k in logistic growth okay so with reference to the above equation which one of the following statement is correct okay we have to find now the which one is correct is the Q represent exponential growth and P represent logistic growth? No, is the wrong answer because the correct answer is Q represent the exponential growth and S represent the logistic growth. So the correct option is option B. And this question: A population grows according to logistic growth equation. Okay, the population is growing logistically. So the formula is dn by dt equal to rn multiplied by 1 minus n by k where dn by dt is the rate of population growth and r is the intrinsic rate of increase, n is the population size and k is the carrying capacity of the environment. According to the equation population growth rate is maximum at we have discussed when the population growth will be maximum the population growth will be maximum at point k by 2 okay so the option b is the correct answer for a species having logistic growth okay the species is having the logistic growth if k is 20000 the value of k is given is 20000 and r is 0 0.15 and r is that is the intrinsic rate of increase is 0 0.15 the maximum sustainable yield will be it is asking the maximum sustainable yield okay so we know the value of k k is the 20,000 but we have to calculate the value of n so the maximum growth rate or the value of n will equal to the k by 2 k by 2 so the value of n is 10,000 20,000 divided by 2 is the 10,000 and value of r is given that is 0 0.15 and it's the logistic growth of population so what will be the formula the formula is dn by dt equal to rn multiplied by k minus n divided by k now we will put the values so by putting the value in the formula we got the answer 750 but it's not in the option okay
If you find this video useful then please like share and subscribe for more videos on life sciences thank you so much for watching my video till the end bye bye